Hey guys, I've got an ultra quick video today. I'm just going to show you how I strip my stairs. I've had quite a few people in the comments asking me about them, the way I build them. So I've got a string on the wall, and then all of my risers are nailed to that string. So what we're going to do first, we're going to pull the nails out of the string, pull the string off, and then all the risers just come off easy. We've got nips, hammer, cat claw. So just here we have a nail that's too flush and I can't get it out. So they come out. Now that all the nails are pulled, which took about two minutes, we just pull this off. And now, all of our risers are ready to be pulled out. Something I want to point out is that if you're using screws on this, it'll take so much longer. So, I mean, this is how quick I'm pulling the nail out. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If they're screws, it does not take, it's not that quick. There's no way, you can't do it that quick. But the main thing is you've got to leave the heads out of the nails so that you can pull them out easily. Now this side's going to take a little bit longer to strip because I wasn't trusting what's behind there. So I'll put, about four times the amount of nails I normally would. And also because it's so soft behind there, it was really hard for me to nail it with a nail gun and leave, set the nails with the head out. They kept, the gun's got too much power and they kept going in. So this is gonna take slightly longer, but I'm nearly finished already. So this is how quick it is. Of course, if you, uh, using your nail gun and your nailing by hand, you can easily leave the heads of the nails out. Let's see if I got it all. So this is a pretty poor example of concreting for stairs like these. These are actually feature stairs. That's supposed to be the product that you see. Yeah, these aren't very good at all. This is actually the second time we've poured these. The first time 
You know, I build them so that there's fall on them, so the water falls off. The concrete had trowed them like 20 mil below my ply. Um, he's done a better job this time around, but the finish is much worse. So yeah, this is the problem with how we do things sometimes, is that the chippy myself is building them. Separate trade, concrete comes in and pours them. Also, there can be quite a bit of time in between. So other people walking up and down these, they can, they can move. The best way is if the person building them, pours them. So anyway, it is what it is. These are gonna to have to be patched. Um, I've done the best that I can. I, can't, I couldn't have given the concrete anything better than what I did to work with it. So if you plan to wet face these and you wanna strip them on the day, sometimes it's better. Just use screws instead of nails and just make the risers a little bit shorter so that they strip really easy. You don't want to you don't want them too tight.